There are some buildings around the world that are simply spectacular. In some, the architecture is eye-catching and tells the story of a civilization. Others are geometrical marvels. The most appealing aspects of these buildings are their precise designs and construction. They are simply standing works of art with their amazing sculpture on the outside and colorful murals on the inside. The majority of these constructions all have the trait of having taken a very long time to complete. Let's take a look at some of the world's most renowned structures and how long it took to build them. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is a Parisian landmark that is also a technological masterpiece in building construction history. It was built to be one of the main attractions in the Paris World's Fair in 1889. The Eiffel Tower was built from 1887 to 1889 by French engineer Gustave Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower is 330 meters tall and consists of an iron framework that is supported by four masonry piers, from which rise four columns that unite to form one vertical tower. Altogether, it weighs approximately 10,100 tons and has three floors that are open to the public. Additionally, it has 1,665 stairs and 20,000 light bulbs that illuminate the landmark every night. It remains largely unchanged today and is one of the world's premier tourist attractions. The Brandenburg Gate The Brandenburg Gate, which was built between 1788 and 1791, is one of the most iconic sites in Berlin and is a symbol of both the division of Germany and the country's reunification. The neoclassical gate stands 26 meters high and was inspired by the Acropolis of Athens. It features a sculpture of a four-horse-driven chariot by Victoria, the Roman goddess of victory. The original sculpture was destroyed during World War II, so it was replaced by an exact replica made in West Germany in 1969. Christ the Redeemer This is the biggest and most famous Art Deco-style sculpture in the world. It was developed by the engineer Hector de Silva Costa over five years from 1926 to 1931, which was the opening year of the monument. The statue is 30 meters tall, not including the 8-meter pedestal, and its arms that stretch 28 meters wide. It's located at the peak of Corcovado Mountain and is a symbol of Christianity across the world. The statue has become a cultural icon of both Rio de Janeiro and Brazil. Burj Khalifa At over 828 meters, it's the tallest building in the world. The building represents the conceptual heart and soul of the city of Dubai. Construction began in 2004 and was completed in 2010. It easily surpassed the Taipei 101 building in Taipei, Taiwan, which measured 508 meters as the world's tallest building. It also holds other records, such as the highest number of stories, outdoor observation deck, and the elevator with the longest travel distance in the world. The public observation deck, called At the Top, is located on the 124th floor. The Statue of Liberty she is the Statue of Liberty, a symbol of freedom, inspiration, and hope. A colossal statue situated on Liberty Island in the upper New York Bay. It was a gift of friendship from the people of France to the United States and is recognized as a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. Work began in Paris by the French sculptor Bertoldi in 1875 and was completed in 1885. Standing at 93 meters high, including the pedestal, it represents a woman holding a torch in her raised right hand and a tablet bearing the adoption of the Declaration of Independence in her left hand. The site was added to UNESCO's World Heritage List in 1984. The Neuschwanstein Castle In the southwest of Bavaria, flanked by the Bavarian Alps in the background, it is often said to look straight out of a fairy tale. Construction of the castle began in 1869 and was completed in 1886. King Ludwig II saw his castle as a monument to the culture and a concept of monarchy prevailing in the Middle Age, which he greatly admired and wanted to recreate. Built and furnished in medieval styles, but equipped with the latest technology of the day, it is the most famous work of historicism and the embodiment of German idealism. Furthermore, this castle is used as an inspiration for the castles of Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty in Disneyland. The Colosseum The massive iconic stone amphitheater of Rome is known as the Colosseum and has a long, tumultuous history. Construction of the Colosseum began sometime between CE 70 and 72 under the Emperor Vespasian as a gift to the Roman people. It was completed in AD 80. The arena was used to host spectacular public events, from gladiatorial combats to wild animal fights. It was the largest amphitheater in the Roman world and could hold more than 50,000 spectators at its maximum capacity. A series of earthquakes during the 5th century CE damaged the structure, and it also suffered from neglect. By the 20th century, nearly two-thirds of the original building had been destroyed. The Pisa Tower 
The Leaning Tower of Pisa is one of the most remarkable architectural structures from medieval Europe. It is located in the Italian town of Pisa. Although it was originally designed to be straight, the tower leans about 4 degrees. The original completed height of the Tower of Pisa stands at 60 meters and it has 297 steps leading to the top of it. The construction of the Tower of Pisa began in 1173 and took 199 years to finish due to a series of wars. La Sagrada Familia This is one of the most impressive churches in the world. The Basilica is known as the Basilica of the Holy Family. The construction began in 1882. The project was entrusted to Antony Gaudi in 1883, and he took the project into a different direction, transforming it into an ambitious proposal for the Church of the Future. He wanted it to become a universal masterpiece combining all symbols of Christianity. The Sagrada Familia was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. Construction still continues to this day, and its completion is scheduled for 2026, a date symbolic of the centenary of Antony Gaudi's death. Buildings and structures of immense sizes typically require a long time to finish, but the work is always worthwhile. These buildings not only provide shelter, but also fulfill ceremonial, political, and even spiritual purposes. Furthermore, these structures represent the strengths of humans' innovative engineering efforts. Visit a few places on this list and be ready to be amazed. Please let us know in the comments if you've ever visited one of these renowned structures, and if you haven't, which ones you would like to see. If you enjoyed this video and want to join our journey on learning about the who, what, when, where, why, and how of the human experience, please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the Reverie Media YouTube channel. You can also connect with us on Twitter at The Reverie Media. We hope to see you there.